Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? Well, I've got something that I wanted to kind of, I still have a bunch of beers from Chatio I got to do, so I'll get those out, buddy, as soon as possible. But this was kind of an exclusive one, got an itch on my neck and back and everywhere else. Ah! But this was an exclusive one that I got from uh, Justin, um, the manager uh, over at uh, Main Street Market in Warrington, Oregon. Um, a friend of mine, uh, become a real good a good friend of mine. Um, <laughs> um, just good beer friend, and uh, I love uh, sharing beers with the guy. And he uh, he uh, popped one out of his four pack, I believe, and gave me one of these. It's a uh, not for resale. It's by uh, so you can see it's. It's a sample and not, uh, not for resale. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll read the little saying they have here. But it's by Block 15 out of Corvallis, Oregon. It's called their Common Bond. You won't be able to buy this anywhere. It's only given to like family, friends, this, that. Served in a 16-ounce can. It was to can 226, 21, 6.8% ABV. So I'm going to read this real quick. Common bond is what they call it. When, what an adventure the past 13 years have been for the Block 15 family. From our roots as a small community brew pub, growing to include today's taps, tap room, regional production brewery, and Northwest distribution. Your support has been vital to our success, and we can't thank you enough. Common bond is brewed and offered exclusively... Exclusively... Um, to our employees, partners, and families. A snapshot of our efforts and evolution with an eye to the future. Common Bond com combines an element of our IPA program spanning over 13 years. So cool army green, kind of straightforward, kind of logo, just really cool. I don't know, it looks all army-like. But let's, um, thanks Justin. You're the man, dude, thank you so much. Let's open this up. Just in case anything's floating around, I like to swirl it a little. Get a little aggression there. Common bond. Got me in the right corner there, inside there. Okay. Cool. So, um, poured about a finger head. Aggressive. Uh, get something going on here. Okay. So, looking at it. Let me go back a little bit. <laughs> Not looking at it. Let's go into the aromas. Oh, mmm. Pineapple lemon. A little grapefruit. Maybe a little pine resin. Fruit, it's a fruit bomb, juice bomb, uh, citrus bomb. It's a lemony. Lemony, orange, slight orange in there, tangerine. Wow, it's got a bready, nice sweet bread kind of thing going on. White head, almost a finger head, and a uh, very aggressive head. It's holding a nice ring around the top. It's very cool. It has good uh, head retention. It's already lacing real well right there. It's got a nice uh, deep honey, kind of almost pushing kind of like even like a hay color, I guess. But it's, it's a deep, more, more of a deep honey, a yellow color or something, lemony. Looks lemony. Looks kind of like a light orange juice or a lemony kind of thing going on. Yeah. Hazy. Can't see through it. Opaque. I don't think you can see my hand. Can you see it? Can you see the spider? <laughs> so about a medium rising bubble. Let's get into this. Cheers. Orange pithy. Orange, navel orange pith. Nice, smooth, creamy body, uh, mouthfeel. Body's nice and medium. Good, uh, like a real, uh, nice, uh, like a piney. Um, this is kind of like more of a West Coast hazy, I think. It's got kind of a piney thing going on in the back. Resinous, pithy at the front. Sweet, pithy orange. Little grapefruit, little like uh, pineapple feels in there, uh, feeling in there as well. Um, it's kind of sweet in the middle, kind of a sweet bread or bready. 
white bread, no crust. A medium carbonation. It's kind of smooth, actually. It's medium light carbonation. Rings all up around your palate. Goes towards the back there. As it hits the soft palate, it just starts to dry off. As it goes down the waterfall. Down your throat. Kind of a kind of a, a grapefruit pine dry sort of feeling, but it does have kind of a wetness to it as well. Around the cheeks. It's very nice though. So it's definitely not like your Budweiser or anything like that. <laughs> not anything close. Definitely different. Craft beer here for sure. Very good beer. My goodness. Lemon, orange, grapefruit, pineapple, orange pith more than anything. Right at the heart of the palate up there. Bing, you get that bing. And it like throws back this like pithiness in the back of the tongue as well. That dry grapefruit. I love it, man. Great aftertaste. Yeah, it's nice. It's not really, I, it's just uh, like kind of that, yeah, that pine uh, grapefruit aftertaste. Nice. Out of five, 10 hops, I really like this. Out of 10 hops, I'm going to give us, uh, I'll give it, uh, uh, I'll give it 9.5 hops. I like, I like this beer a lot. It's a, it's a mid-A range, A plus um, kind of range beer. Very good. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate it, Justin. Heck yeah. Um, cool. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this world. Another review, and I'm out of here after one more drink. Mmm, yummy. Cheers.